decides to go, I bravely took on the spicy Pop-Tart challenge and survived it. But I made a grave mistake of saying it wasn't hard enough. And boy, did karma come back to bite me. Ouch. Well, now here we are from Hard Bitten. It come into the studio and she is back with the spicy vengeance. But they are new spicy pop tart challenge, 2.0. Oh, I speak of a devil. Well, let's give her a warm welcome. Well, hopefully not too warm. Welcome back to the Hot Dane Show, and welcome to Haley Raff. How do you pronounce that name? Haley Raff. Haley Raff. What do you got in the box? I have Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. Just Pop Tarts. Pop -tarts. <laughs> Just Pop Tarts. All right. Well, wow. wow. Look at all the goodies. So tell me a little bit more about the goodies. Is it like gluten free or? Nope. Nope. Just... No. There's, there's nothing. I mean, we do make vegan tarts. Okay. But these ones are not. If you have any type of allergies, I just recommend to not eat them at all. And all these, what I see here, get available on your website, right? Yes, everything is on our website, and everything we do, we make and we deliver them. And we sell them all over Chicago. We're in, like, almost 30-plus stores again with our tarts. Just the tarts, not the spicy one. What happened? I'm, I'm especially looking at this uh, hell tart. How do you come up with an idea? Do you, like, accidentally one day spill the hot sauce on it and get kind of rolled with it? I wish it was something cute like that, but no, I I saw Philadelphia cream cheese come out with like a spicy cream cheese. And I thought, why can't I do spicy pop tarts? You know, like there's the one chip challenge and the gummy bear and the bubble gum and there's chocolates and jelly beans. So why couldn't I do a pop tart? Oh, I have to. Yeah. They look really beautiful, by Thank the way. You. They, they kind of remind me of uh, Tim Burton of pop tart. Wow, that's the nicest. Well, because compliment you know, you I've got the scars on it, it's very colorful. Yeah, so. I appreciate that. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your company, Hard Bitten. When the pandemic happened, I lost my job. I was a savory chef. Wow. I've always been a savory cook. And, you know, it was just the industry. We all just lost our jobs, got laid off. And I got really bored really fast. Oh, yeah. So I, I started. I can relate. Right? Yeah. And I started making food out of my house and just selling it. Just, awesome. you know what? I had nothing better to do. So I just started making pasta and selling it. And it went really well. And people would ask me, can you do more? What else can you do? So I would be like, I can do this and do this. And people bought it. And a few, I don't know, I started the Pop-Tarts about three months in into okay. starting Hardbitten. And they just, I was booked for orders two weeks in advance, four weeks in advance at one point. Like it just, they blew up. And I'm not a pastry chef. So I, I taught myself, like I have like the fundamentals of pastry, you know, okay. cooking, but I taught myself how to make cakes and do Pop-Tarts and things like that. And the Pop-Tarts are just what really cook. Let could go ahead and bring out the plate and, and we could talk more about your Pop-Tart here, the variety. Um, are you gonna eat the, the hot tart with me? No, not a chance. Absolutely not. I- You're here for the entertainment, aren't you? You, yes. You chose to do this. This is your life. This is not my part, part of my life. I know. It's it, not my journey. Karma got me back. So how many people ask, reach out to you ask for a hotter Pop-Tart? A few, a few people. Yeah, even on people's YouTube, they said it wasn't that hot, and I was like, I was like, okay, ours, our, all right, I'll make it hotter. <laughs> uh, yeah. See what you've done. What do you got in there with the flavor? Sure. Um, so, other than the hell tarts, uh, we offer 13 to 15 different flavors of our regular tarts. So we have apple pie, cherry, uh, strawberry, and almond butter, raspberry Nutella, dolce de leche, mixed berry, and s'mores. Ooh. And we offer more flavors. These are just what I brought for you. Look, uh, look, cheese and s'mores. Yeah. You... Do so. Do that one and break it in half. Yeah. Absolutely. And you'll get like this really cool marshmallow pull. Let me go ahead and grab it here. S'mores, pop tart. That looks absolutely delicious. Are these freshly made? Yes. Okay, I can tell. We make all of these by hand. We make our fillings. We make our frostings. We make the dough. Like everything is made by us, and these are built by hand. So I have a staff that just makes these. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's okay. really cool. All right. <laughs> like that's their job. <laughs> I, I thought you did everything. I did for you. I did for a year and a half. I was okay. too proud. And then I got my first like large account, and we had I had 788 tarts for one in one day. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I think I need help, and I got help. And well, so, good for you. Thanks. Go ahead and uh, crack the open. I'm gonna... Yeah, use your hands. Just break it in half, and you'll get this really cool marshmallow ball. Really? 
Sometimes okay. people will microwave these a little bit, but. Got some chocolate in there, huh? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna have any? I'm okay, I eat these all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. Know? Act like my mother always full when she's serving dinner uh -huh. with the family. Yeah, because you're trying. She never gets to eat out of the food, but yeah. what? No, I, I do try these all the time because I, you know, quality control. There you go. No, it gets a little messy. <laughs> How is it? Is it okay? It'll do? I love the chocolate feeling. That is absolutely delicious. Thanks. So, wow. Not spicy. Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really good. Thanks. Ah, oh, flavor. Flavor bomb. Oh, let's bring out this uh, hell tart 2.0. So, I'm not going to touch it, but you can. Oh. Absolutely not. Um, I want you to do this one. Why? Uh, because it's just that it, it's a little bit, it flaked a little bit more. It, it kind of hurt me a little bit more, right? I hope so. But no, it's just, it, it's a little bit taller. And I like that it was flaky like that, you know? So do that one. Okay, here we go. It smells strong. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. oh. And I did make them a little bit smaller. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good news. Yeah, I did make them a little bit smaller, but it's still the same amount of jam. Can you tell us what you put in there? Yes. So, like the, pie so the main ingredient ingredient is strawberries. So this is a very like strawberry forward jam. I wanted it to taste good. I wanted it to, um, you know, have a lot to go for it. I didn't want it to just be spicy, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and then there's habaneros, ghost peppers, reapers, um, Thai chilies. I have some dried chilies from Bhutan. I have. There's a few more. I mean, I'm sure there's like there's more. Oh, that's just the jam. Okay, the jam. Yeah. So like all the spice concentrating in the jam. In the jam, and then okay. I add some to the frosting. Just okay. why not? But it's really just the jam. Like there's like 12 ingredients. There, there's, it's simple, but I, you, it's the way about. It's how you cook it. So I don't just throw it all in a pan and just boil it. You know, you add the strawberries, you get this nice paste. And then I actually cook the chilies, the fresh chilies separate with sugar and mm -hmm. caramelize that and get cook it down until it's like mush. And then I add the dry chilies to it. And then I caramelize that. And then I add that to the strawberry. All right, well guys, I think it's the moment you've been waiting for. Okay, here we go. It uh, can't be that bad. It's just a pop tart, you know? Oh, I can't matter Wow, okay, here we go, ready? Flavor. Flavor. Better. Better. Yeah, thank you. I did add some chocolate sauce to yours. I'm working on kind of a 3.0 kind of one where it's not just the strawberry jam, but I add some of our chocolate fudge to it. Just to give it more flavor. See, it's not that bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're, you're sweating already. No. <laughs> it wouldn't be a hot dang show without it. Wow. Um, I'm trying to remember what happened to me the last time, but I think it could, might be a tag hotter. I would hope so. But more flavorful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You, you turn red real fast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think one of those days that you're just not in the mood for today, mm -hmm. that day. Yeah. Well, I'm proud of you for doing it anyways. Wow, that. Do you think this is a little hotter, or like, do you think it's not as hot as last time? See what happened. Look at that. Look at that smile on her face. <laughs> You're crying. Uh, it's not wow. that bad. Uh, I, no, absolutely not. No. Wow, I could way hotter. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry for hurting you. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, but it makes me look better. My eyes are watering. Uh, everything is watering. Uh, are you okay? My ears are raining. Mm -hmm. I could kind of have maybe three, four bites. So, here you go. Ow. Uh, I'm not going to finish this. No? I got to be in a mood for something like this. Sure. 
We had this plan though for like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're you accomplished. Okay. Yeah, take your time. I'll be right back. Oh. oh, that'll help. Look at the first time. It's not helping. And you know, I'm not a part of the spice community at all, so for you to say that, you know, I don't know what's out there and what's going on. I just made it and people buy it and eat it. So I'm not trying to compete with anyone or anything. We just, I just do it because I think it's... But you enjoy it though. I enjoy making them and I enjoy that there's a challenge factor, you know, but for people to say how my food hurts them, I mean, that's not what I'm trying to go after. I, I honestly, I held back a little bit with yours. I'm glad you did. I swear to you that I did not think that this was going to be hot enough for you. And I was like, you know what? No, like I want him to actually eat it. I know. <laughs> There's little skull candies on there to make it a little better. You know? I eat that. Yeah. What kind of that one? It's just sugar. It's just, okay. it's just sugar, pure sugar. No, but I just like skulls and stuff. Oh. Is it getting better? No? It still feels like when you're, you were eating it? I'm gonna be hurting later. Yeah. Only, Hopefully not too much. I think a little bit. I mean, you didn't eat a lot. I don't think it'll hurt that much. One of the hottest things I have eaten. That's probably a huge compliment for you. I mean, it is. It is. I mean, I am trained to do this professionally, so I would. It is. It's great. Yeah. If Not, I have, if I have a plaque, mm -hmm. I will hand a plaque to you. I'm sure someone can make one. Yeah. yeah. No, it's really a science behind it. Hang on a second. Take your time. Just, just take your time. Okay. Look at the, the hot day show. <laughs> Look at my plaque. Paint of gold. I can't think of anything. But I like to present this to you. Wow. I can't believe that it's so hot. Everyone on the hot day show, this is hot. Hot. I'm still struggling. So here you go. Thank the you. first hot day show back. Uh, Thank you. There you go. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, there anything more you want to say before I shut down the plates and cry in my, in my dark corner of my bedroom? So if you think you can do it, which I mean, anyone can really do it because it's just a Pop-Tart, so like how hot can it be, you know? You can order it online on hardbitten.com, two ends, and we ship nationwide now. And it comes with one of our regular Pop-Tarts so you can actually try like the work that we do. Uh, as a treat for finishing this one and there's rules and everything like that but um we'll also be on league of fire and i hope to be in more competitions but i mean it can't be that bad it's just a pop tart you know so try it if you think you can do it i'm not here with my for this but anyway i think that's all for the show for today and i see you next time on a hot thing show Hot dance show!